My name is Meryl Nividre. Uh, I'll be attending the event in Liverpool on the 15th of October. Uh, I will bring uh, some part of my family with me. The main aim for this event is to transform my family. Join us to receive your free bottle of holy oil and through faith, your miracle. Visit our website to reserve your bottle of holy oil. Dear friends, a good morning to all of you. And may God, through this program, bless your life, showing to you, revealing to you that there is a way for you to be healed from physical and spiritual disease as well, physical and spiritual pains. Sometimes it's your body who is in pain. Sometimes it's your heart who is in pain. That's why I would like, since now, to invite you to prepare your glass with water. We always make a prayer here in the program and we consecrate the water. So if you want to have your glass prepared that there next to you, so we present this water to God. And perhaps you ask, but Bishop, why do you, the pastors of the Universal Church, you bless the water, you, you give the blessed oil, why you do that? All these are symbols things that they represent, elements they represent, the Spirit of God, the Word of God, the power of God. And besides that, He gave us faith to, to do it. He gave us faith to do this. We have faith. I believe that by presenting the glass of water to God, and once you drink that water, you will be healed from your pain. You will be healed from that disease. God will manifest His power right there where you are. I can see you. I don't know who you are. I don't know exactly where you are or what you are going through. But I know that God is now looking to you. He knows who you are. He knows what you are going through. And He knows also how to deliver you from that. Don't doubt. Even if you are inside the bedroom in, in darkness, no one is there with you. No one is there. But God is there. God, please pay attention. God, He's right there looking to you. He's right there looking to you. He knows that a few moments ago, you were thinking on killing yourself. He knows that. He knows that you, you don't want to say to nobody. But He knows that there inside of you, you feel broken. Your heart is broken. You cry during the night when no one is watching you. You go to your room. Everyone thinks that you went to sleep and that you had a, a wonderful night of sleep. And no one knows that you stood almost the whole night crying. No one knows that. But God knows. And He's using me to talk to you. He knows how much you are suffering and He wants to bring to you relief right now. So if you want to talk with one of our pastors, you can use the number, the helpline number, it's there, available for you. Okay, you can call, a man of God will answer your call. You may as well send a message through the same number, it's the WhatsApp number. So you may call by using a phone or sending a message a uh, text message, uh, 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 an audio message, a video message explaining what is happening to you and we will pray in your behalf. I was raised in Southern California in a nice neighborhood of Redondo Beach. Had my father and mother and for the first, first beginning of my life, uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good growing up. I was a happy kid and as time went by, uh, I realized that my mom was an alcoholic. My dad had serious rage issues, anger issues. It got to a point where my mom and dad were divorced and I was actually staying in a small trailer with my dad. Um, there was no hot water, no running water, no way to, to, to wash our clothes. And there was pornography there for me. That's how I, um, escaped from the frustrations and the, the fear 
from my dad. You know, I was in a speed metal band. I was into hard, you know, hard, heavy metal music, you know, and everything that, that came with that. I used to drink, I, I, I was doing LSD. From a very young age, I started a series of just cheating on everybody. I remember dating this girl when I was like 14 years old and I cheated on her. It's like I cheated on every girlfriend that I was ever with. Any girl I saw, I would want to be with. <laughs> there was a time I was like dating four girls at, at, at one time. My friends and I, we would trade girls. It, it was just, it was wild, totally crazy. I found my first wife and I thought, okay, everything's gonna be great. Everything's gonna be hunky-dory. So I finally got married to, to, to my wife and there was this one episode where I don't know what we were arguing about necessarily, but I got up and I put her on the ground and I, I, I raised my, I don't know what I was going to do, but I, I was ready to, I was completely losing control and I snapped out of it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? And we just, we just separated. And it got to the point where, you know, I lost my job, things came to an end. And you know, I remember at this point seeing even another counselor who said I, I probably had depression, I should get on depression meds. And I would lose my temper on my second wife too. And it just got to the point where one day my second wife sat down and said she wanted to split up. She didn't want to be with me anymore. So marriage too, gone. From going to this new church, the universal church, I learned to have a revolted spirit and to revolt against my situation, to revolt against these evil spirits that were working in my life. We would talked about the Holy Spirit often. That concept of like, I can't conceive of having the Holy Spirit switch to, I have to have the Holy Spirit. Like, if I don't have the Holy Spirit, I'm not gonna make it. It's like, it turned into an emergency, it's like, this has got to happen. I decided I was gonna pray every hour for 21 days. And I was just like humbling myself to the max and just like, God, I have to have your Holy Spirit. And I was like, my whole, everything was, was the Holy Spirit. And God honored it. Pastor was praying and we were playing this one song and God came upon me, the Holy Spirit came upon me and I was crying and laughing at the same time. <sighs> so after receiving the Holy Spirit, I became strong and stable, received the fruit of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness. I got free. I got free of the addiction. I got free of the anger issues. I got free of the depression. I don't have anything um, controlling me. Not, and not my anger either, not depression, nothing. Nothing, nothing can overcome me. <laughs> it, it's really amazing. You can overcome all of your issues. You're, and, and this is another thing that I learned in the church is that God wants us to be blessed in every area of our life. You know, my life had completely transformed now. Shansé and I are happily married. We've been happily married for 17 years. I have my own business that I cannot even tell you how blessed I am in my business. I just bought a brand new truck. I can't even keep up with the work. Even during the pandemic, my business is booming more than it ever has. It's amazing. When you have the Spirit of God and when you get free of your stuff and you and you you receive the Holy Spirit of God, nothing can overcome you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So I'm able to put the I'm able to put the word of God in practice now where I wasn't able to before. And I can honestly say that I'm happy. I, I'm I'm consistently happy. Yeah, I have I get again, I get frustrated. Things happen, things don't go my way. Oh man, dang it, you know, whatever. But um, it's just a completely different life. And, and the thing about it is it's consistent. What I'd like to say to anybody who's struggling with sexual addiction or any of these things is that you can overcome this. Are you beating yourself up for having failed once again? Do you feel like no matter how many times you try, you always find yourself back at square one? We are here for you. Let us help you get out of the cycle. Give us a call now. Powerful testimony, right? This man, you know, now, nowadays, he, he's not ashamed of talking about who he was and humanizer and show all those photos of his old life, let's call it this way. It's an old life indeed. 
and saying all that he had inside of him, the way he used to live, because nowadays he is a completely different man. And this is the power of faith. Faith can not just um, heal you from a disease or a pain. Faith can transform your life, your heart, your mind. So when you talk about your traumas, you talk about your suffering, that will no longer affect you because you overcame all that. That's in the past. It's just uh, uh, memories that you have regarding your old life. You know, when we look here into this verse of the Bible, I want to share with you what is written here on this psalm. I don't know, perhaps you never, you never heard or you never read it, but it says, Lord, remember David and all his afflictions. Remember David and all his afflictions. Just this. Just this. When we think about David, King David, a man of faith, a man of God, a man who was inspired by God to write many Psalms, and you like to read them, you, you like to take your Bible and you read Psalms, perhaps before you go to sleep, maybe is the most it's the book that you read the most, the, the book of Psalms. But that man of faith, that man that wrote so beautiful things, inspired by God, he wrote his experiences with God. God who used to talk to him, guide him through so many victories. God gave him a blessed life, a blessed name. But that man, he went through many, many, many afflictions. Like he, he, he wrote, Lord, remember David and all his afflictions, not and his affliction, but all his afflictions. And he, he, he didn't all only wrote and his afflictions, but this all his afflictions, it's on purpose for me and you to understand that there were many, 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 many afflictions, many afflictions. But these didn't make him give up on his faith, neither believe or think that God abandoned him and there was no hope for him anymore. No, this, when he was afflicted, he used to go to God, talk to God, and uh, uh, trust in God. And that's what you need to do. I want you now to make the prayer with all of you. You saw the testimony. God is not um, uh, uh, despising you because you committed mistakes. No matter what mistakes or how many mistakes you, you committed in life, God will not despise you because of that if you now decide to seek his help. If you now decide to go to him, join us in this prayer, he will hear our voice, he will hear our prayer, and I am sure that he will bring relief right now to you. If you didn't prepare your glass with water, please prepare yours, I have mine here, so we may present to God during the, during the prayer. When we pray to God, we can receive strength, courage, faith, peace and anything we sincerely ask for. Take advantage of this moment, close your eyes, and raise your thoughts to God. It's time to pray. My lords, I present to you this glass with water and the life of all those who are now watching this program. I ask you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may this water be blessed. May this water be consecrated. 
May this water be a heavenly medicine to bring relief to the body and the soul, the heart of all those who are now praying with us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, drink this water now, please. Drink, drink a little bit of the water. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as you feel that water inside of you, feel also now the power of God, removing pains from your body. Feel as well now the power of God, removing those negative voices. Feel the power of God now, embracing you, and remove that anxiety, that sadness, that emptiness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be blessed now, be relieved right now. And also receive strength, receive peace inside of you. Peace, the peace that comes from faith that makes you know that God did not abandon you. You are not alone, my friends. Even if you think you are. The power of God, the power of faith now brings this relief, this peace to you. My Lord, I pray now for all families, all those families who are going through problems, difficulties, they they can't talk anymore because they always end up arguing. So they don't talk. They just prefer not to say nothing. So I pray for them. As my voice enters the house of this person, may your peace, may harmony enters inside their homes. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And if you believe, you may say, I receive because I believe. Amen. You may open your eyes. Take a deep breath, please. How do you feel now? If I could see you and hear you, I am sure that you would say, Bishop, I feel so relieved. Oh, I feel so, so well now. I was like this, I was like that, I was feeling like that before the prayer. Now, I'm so relieved. And this is just for you. Let me say, this is just a sample of what God can do, what faith can do, what God wants to do in your life. Please understand, this is not for you to stay there at home saying, okay, well, I don't need to go to the church because the bishop prayed for me. I hear the word of God here on the TV program. So there's no need for me to go to the church. No, don't, don't mistake. Don't be mistake, please. The, the, the TV program, it's just to help you, to give you courage, to motivate you to use your faith. But all the testimonies that you see here, they they only were possible to be, become true because those people, they came to the house of God and they received that energy, the, the teachings, and they were helped so they could be who they are nowadays. So today, Wednesday, it's a special day for those who want to be close to God, those who want to learn more about the word of God, and the will of God. We have been talking about the kingdom of heaven. Bring your Bible with you so you may study with us. Services usually they take like one hour, 45 minutes, one hour length. Usually no more than that. So you can come 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and or 7.30 p.m. Okay? In our church here in Liverpool, 153 North Hamberland Street. I'll be with all of you. As well, our church in Blacktown, 125 Main Street. Our church in uh, uh, Footscray, Queensland, Melbourne. 
and Chatswood, you can go to our website and you will find there the addresses to all our locations. And of course, we cannot forget about what will happen on the 15th October. But before I talk about that, let's see this invitation. Come and see what faith can do for you. A few years ago, I developed very bad high blood pressure and very high sugar levels in my blood. The problem was that it just wasn't coming down. I went to the doctor and she put me on the highest um, uh, dose of medicine. I had been attending the holy oil events, putting that oil on myself and also on the medication. I went back to the doctor and the doctor said, I, I no, no, no longer need to take any medication for any high blood pressure. There will be free distribution of holy oil on October 15th at 10 a.m. at 153 Northumberland Street, Liverpool. For more locations, visit our website. Hi, my name is Colette. I'm just going to come and to the come and say event on the 15th of August, just, just to see a change in my family. Join us to receive your free bottle of holy oil and through faith, your miracle. Visit our website to reserve your bottle of holy oil. And you are our guest also for that day. A day of power, a day of prayers. Many prayers will be done on that prayer, on that day. Uh, you will receive the free small bottle with the blessed oil also on that day. We have been explaining that every person will receive one bottle of oil. We cannot give two, three to one person. Each one will receive one. So if you have people that you would like them to receive the bottle with the blessed oil, invite them to come with you, okay? So they may receive their free bottle of the blessed oil as well. And miracles will happen. That's why we have been saying, come and see what faith can do for you. What faith can do for you. For example, what do you need? If you say, well, I need to be healed from uh, blood pressure. Faith can do that for you. If you say, well, I need to see my son free from um, alcohol addictions, internet addictions or whatever. Faith can do that for you. If you say, well, Bishop, what I need is to get a better job. I've been struggling with my finances and I need a better job. Faith can do that for you. If you say, well, what I need is to have peace. Now it's all that I need, peace inside of me. Faith can do that for you. If you say, I need to be free from this depression, faith can heal you from that. Faith can remove that depression from you. If you say, well, what I need is to uh, see uh, my marriage fixed, faith can do that for you. So in other words, faith can do everything because faith is the power that comes from God. That's why we have been saying, come and see what faith can do for you. Don't just say, well, it will be useless to go to, to the church on that day, that event, because my problem is impossible. This situation is impossible, or I don't have enough faith for this or enough faith for that. To you, I say, come and see. Let me look to this one here. So you may see better here the invitation. What is written there? Come and see what faith can do for you. That's it. Come and see what faith can do. Don't just uh, uh, say, well, uh, it's useless. No, no, don't use that word. On the day, we'll have uh, the special visit of Bishop Randall. He, a few days ago, he was in our church there in, Queen, in uh, New Zealand. He will also uh, uh, host a, uh, an event in our church in Fiji. And then he will come here to Australia to be we, on that special day. I will be with the bishop on that day, 15 October, 10 a.m. 
also other pastors will all be together and many prayers will be done in your behalf. And God will manifest his power in your life and the life of your guests as well. Will be 10 a.m. Arrive earlier, please. Arrive between 9.30, 9.40. Try to be here already. So you may park your car. If you will drive, you park your car and then you come to the church. The, 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 the service, the event will start 10 a.m. But it's important that you arrive earlier than that. So you may have a seat. Many people will come. So you have to... Uh, uh, choose a place to, to have a seat because don't miss not even the first second of the service. Not even the first second. Because the moment that the service will start, God will already also, He will start to, to, to bless your life. So, 15 October, not only in our church in Liverpool, as well, same day, same time, Queensland, Melbourne, and Footscray. Okay, if you need the address for the locations, visit our website, uckg.org.au. And if you didn't yet reserve your free bottle of blessed oil, you can scan this QR code and reserve online your free bottle. It's very simple. It will take you no more than 30 seconds to reserve the free bottle of oil. And if you need any more, any other questions, any, any information, if you have questions, you may call using our helpline number and the pastors, they will explain uh, what you need to know. May God bless you all abundantly. Tomorrow I'll be back with the Morning Blessing program. Bye-bye.